Ah, good morning, Boris, and good morning, little pig. Good tucker, eh? Got a bit of wild pork here. One of Inky's catches last year. <laughs> wild pork crop pot. Oh, that's cool. Bit of noodles. You got your dinner gilt. and fat. Yeah, bro. Find the move, though. Alright, we're in the bush, guys. Me and Inky are out here trying to find some meat animals. Coming here last night and um, we've woke up to a frosty morning. Um, went out for a bit of a hunt. Seen a couple of deer. A little bit of fresh sign, but um, nothing on the ground. It's good to see something. Um, yes, I suppose we've put on a bit of breakfast and we'll thaw out. Right. Reckon, bro. Bloody get onto something else later on the Savo. Yeah. Mm. We could have banged one, but a bit far down the creek. <laughs> <laughs> a bit early in the morning for those sort of recoveries, eh, yeah, mate? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Get the billy on, I think. I just tipped up this little spiker didn't have any time to get cameras out or muck around with it sort of carry on, he was on the move back to the bush here so I just put a pill into the chamber and pretty much hit him on the run or not run, he was sort of trotting it's actually oh, coming up a little bit eh? will you still go down into that valley though maybe just have a look across yeah, or... it's not too far down yeah. there eh? exactly. yep just keep looking down into that creek. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, let's see what your um, wind and shit's doing, eh? Mm. It seems to be coming straight up at us. So. Because, like you said, we might we'll probably be heading that way anyway, like around lunch. Yeah, yeah, right. Around lunch, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Pick our, we can pick your one up on the way out if you get one over there. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. Got it down here, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, sweet, I'll get down there and do the mahi on this one in the scrub country. Oh. <clears throat> Try to pick up on a game trail and um, yeah, make our way down. Ah, fuck. 
pretty thick. Oh yeah, looks like a bit of a track there. So when you don't have a track in the bush, you've got to make your own. But a real good tip is to try find game trails or deer trails. And they'll always go the easiest route, easiest option. And they usually would have, um, you know, like worn the track in a little bit. Because some of these recoveries can be shit. Just thick scrub and you're fighting and crashing and bashing. Where is it? Can't find him. But these. Good boy. Oh, you found him. Good boy. You know what you're doing, eh? Good boy. So here it is, guys. Put Boris up the front and just let him do his thing. Hey, took me straight into him. Good boy, Mr. Boris. Yeah, that. Right, guys, that was pretty exciting. Good hunt. So, and um, just got up to our lookout. And um, straight away, he goes, Bo -bo, there's one, there's one. I couldn't pick up on it. It was still a little bit dark. And um, he eventually picked up on it, and it was on the move. Just sort of sidling its way back here towards the bush. Yeah, so I just didn't muck around. Didn't worry about getting cameras or anything out, because I know this game trail is actually... Um, seen quite a few deer on this particular spot. They use this track here, and um, yeah, I knew they went all this deer. He went too far away from the bush, so I just got stuck into him. Didn't worry about filming or anything because we've been in here for two nights and we haven't shot anything or haven't even seen too many deer to be honest. I uh, just saw a couple in here the other day, uh, it was it yesterday morning? So, yeah, we just pl played the patient game, and um, yeah, we've come away with the results. Uh, Inky's just shot off to another spot it's still quite early in the morning so he thought he'd go try his luck and get him on as well but, um, we'll catch up with him when he gets back so I'll just get to work on this thing and you'll get a feed buddies hey eh? the dogs didn't get any dinner last night we only bought him one night's of tucker for them because we thought we'd uh, be shooting some venison hey boy have a bit of venison some heart or something just heard a gunshot not too far away, so um, hopefully there was Inky. Yeah, pretty awesome. Sound like a hit too. Close range shot, just heard the old boom. So we'll find out when he gets back. Hopefully he's on the board with a deer each in the last morning. Well, on a bit of a mission. Um, the bro, he's, we just made some communication and I was up the top of the ridge and he said he's forgot his knife. And he shot a big stag, so he wants me to grab his big pack and his knife. I'll have to go back down there. I'll go drop off all my meat back at camp. And then, uh, then I'll make my way back to help the bro. Right, fellas. Yeah, smacked this bloody stag down in this thick fucking gully. Yeah, check it out. Old Stagosaurus. Oh, good girl, Bella. Good girl. Okay, nice little six. Man. Get him all tidied up. Hey. He, I wasn't lying guys, this fella's a fucking machine. Got all this boned out meat. Phew. Cheer, bro. Yeah, <coughs> He's hanging on on the other side. Oh. Got him. Yeah, bit him fucking hard too, I bet you. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, but he pulled it out. Oh and fuck. The, that's the worst thing you can ever do, is fucking rip the fucking thing out. Yeah, 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 leave it, yeah. Yeah, let them duck the fucking over there. Yeah. What's going on here, bro? Oh, just getting our algorithms, eh, bro? Yeah. Nogging 101. Hopefully, we don't fall off the ladder. That's plumb now. And, hang on, let me sort my shit out. Get my son for safety. Ah! No. <laughs> <laughs> One of my many talents. Oh, yeah. 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 Today, 
we have a big day on the fence line. Ben should be showing up soon. We're going to make a bit of an earlier start and really try to smash this fence line out today. Come out here. Come out here, boy. Come out here. Good boy. Every morning I got a little ritual with Boris, get him out in the paddock, have his piss and his shit. Just really cuts down the amount of shit I have to pick up on the lawn. Well, he's pretty good though, like with where he shits. Not always uh, shitting on the lawn or around the yard. There he goes, just trying to find his shitting spot. <laughs> this is Clay Tall Stories as. Get the dogs out. There's uh, Longview Hut. Let's see if this ute starts cold morning. I'll just put a new battery in it. Hey, we're away. Alright guys, just heading up the road to pick up Ben. His ride was going to be late, so he said if we wanted to start early, I'd like to go pick him up. Watch, watch the production team. Production. Oh, that's tight like a tiger, eh? That's good. It's because it's the cut that cut him. Yeah. It helps with that tight tiger tiger shit. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Ah! Oh, you don't need that, eh? Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. It's a one six eight reload for you, eh, bro? Hey! Oh. Stag stoppers. I'll just get my hammer now, guys. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're doing a bit of a working bee around home. Chipping away at the uh, little lean to shed here and cut down a big old bush that used to be like here, right by the window. Um, got Dan Bowl, he's uh, water blasting the house down. Uh, it's got some timber, I'll go outside and show you guys what we're going to do there. So we're going to rip out all this old fucking shit here, and we're going to replace it with the new ones. But we're going to um, run these boards that way, rather than up and down like that. They're all rotting. So yeah, there it is, guys. Put those boards on. Put those flaxes in, plant them up. And uh, put some stones around the bottom of it. Might even put a few big boulders in there as like features for the garden. Oh, yes. Oh, Ziggy. And Niggy, hey you fellas, there's your brother, there's your brother and your dad, there's your brother and your dad, hey, what are you mongrels doing, morning boat, check my lap, at the ready eh, yeah boat, that's the one, I was thinking of bring them for a run, I just don't know how the fuck to get them there, that's all, oh I don't mind chucking them in the back, like, fuck, it's pretty fucking dirty in the back of this cunt. Sweet ass. Um, He's gonna behave. Runners. You've been out on the farm for a long time, eh, but Nick? Nicky, eh? Hey. Alright, come on then. <coughs> Alright, brothers, here we are. Got all our gear loaded up on the uh, tractor. Got the old ute. <coughs> Got the ute loaded up as well. All our tools in here. Few rails, bros in the tractor, ram is all good to go. What do you reckon, boat? Ready to go do some mahi? Right, we're into it. We're heading up to the paddock. The A team. Right, put the A team on the job. 
putting in our first strainer. This is where our fence line's going today. Nice straight line right the way down to the hedge down the far end there. Cam's just putting in the first strainer. I'm going to prepare all our stays, run our guide wire out, put some tension on it, get it nice and straight, and then the boys can mark out and start ramming the line. And I'm just going to chase them down, putting on insulators, running wires, putting in the stays. <laughs> is one of my favorite things to do on the line um, and you've got to make a nice tidy job of these stays because it's an area where people you know open gates will come to the strainer and they might check your stay out I always go over it with um, my um, electric plane <laughs> and then I always finish it with uh, with the hand plane Really smooth it off. My electric plane's running pretty well actually. So it's taken a lot of those chainsaw grooves and cuts out. Good plane. Little arras on the side here. Just for a bit of uh, sex appeal. Got to make these stays look sexy. Put a little bit of extra effort in. Do our bevel cut. Also, I give a bit of arras this way as well. Just helps fitting it into the. Uh, just helps fit it into the uh, stay mortise when you chisel out. Bit on that side. Yes, yeah, so that stay, I've done four stays. This one is my favorite. Just, uh, she's nice and square. Nice and square through there. Bevel's nice and even, all planed up. Got the arises on the side. All these cuts here are even. That's what you want too. Nice even cuts all the way around. Just for that extra sexy, sexiness appeal. And that stay is gonna go at the start of the paddock. And I'm going to install it here. Alright guys, the moment of truth. I've dug this uh, stay block in. In a bag, I'm useless, but not for long, my future is coming on. I ain't happy, I'm feeling glad I got sunshine. In a bag, I'm useless, but not for long, my future is coming on, is coming on, is coming on. Yeah! Oh, my father, they someone let me out of my cage. Woo! Oh yes. Oh yes. Alright, so just installed this stay. I've gone for the old traditional horizontal block. Dug it in. Usually we ran them in vertically like that with the uh, post driver, but the boys are down there smacking in the line post. I had a bit of a old half round on the back of the ute, so I just thought I'd smash it in. And look at this. Oh my gosh. Fencing pawn. Look how sexy that is. Nice and planed up, chiseled in. 
nice and chiseled into our post. I'll tell you, if I was a piece of wood, I wouldn't say no. Look at it. Tidy as on the side. It's our wire spacings, a bit dark. I'm tying our eggs now. Wide end insulators. Yeah, going good. All right, guys, been working for about an hour and 20 minutes. This is our progress. The ramming's absolutely cream. Boys are smashing it. Sun's about to go behind the hill, which it's only about four o'clock. And uh, yeah, here's our fence, rails, gate, strainer and stay, all strained up. Yeah, I didn't get much uh, footage sort of during the wire work or stays, but um, well, there's another gate and rails down the far end, another gate in the centre there. Boys smashed it out. Early finish. Nice and tidy. Is that sexy state? Ah, mean. Boys did well. Oh, well, yeah. Boys had a bloody good day. Wrapped. We got that fence in today. It's about 450 metres. Pretty lucky. Mongrels. Set the gate. Father and his two sons. Loud inside by the fire. Hey, frosty night out there, boys. Right, just pick some spuds from the garden. Cheers a bit nippy out here tonight. I'd say a bit of frost in the morning. That is gonna be a frosty one. <clears throat> Right, uh, here we are fellas, we got the builders here today, and they are just installing our roof. Here's the, uh, here's the captain of the team, yep. just here. Another episode of We Were Roofers. Yeah. I'm going to teach you today how to fall off. <laughs> just don't land on your head. Yeah. <laughs> we... It might hurt the ground. <laughs> Yeah, give it, boy. Give it a bit of feet rest. Here we go. Yeah. What have we got, Joe? Right, guys. Uh, today, I'm doing a ball up for the boys, a traditional ball up. Uh, I'm just going to show you how I go about it. So, what I do is just cut these pieces of pork up, small bite sized pieces, sear it off like so. Put a bit of salt and oil in there. Ooh, it smells it, good. Yeah, bro. Just give it a little bit brown on all sides. Got some bones in the, in the pot here, and um, some pork bones, and we just do uh, each stage step by step. So cook all the meat first, and then I'll chuck the spuds in, and then the watercress last. And I'll probably just as I chuck the watercress in, I've got some uh, pork flavoured sausages here as well. Hunted them out from New World. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Bush is no. pretty open there. Yeah. So, <laughs> Uh, just to add a bit more meat to the old dish, uh, you know, just bulk it up a little bit. Oil. Uh, so second batch. A bit of oil. Boil up, it's got to have heaps of salt. More salt. You might put a bit of cracked pepper in there too, on this one. Plenty of paper. Is it made in the year? You think it'll be doing it? 
There you go. Sean's missus just showed up and uh, he's, he's a, a big game. Yeah, yeah, he's in the shit now. He's in the shit. Which corner are you working on, Bill? <laughs> he's only just put his tool belt on. He heard you coming down the hill. He's been drinking, pissing, sitting down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boys sizzle left apparently. <laughs> yeah. The boys scissor lift apparently. I'm going to like how he's going to do the next one. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much effect. Look at that production, eh, bro? Well, you did tell them in the latest video that you were trying to build a pyramid. Yeah, I think it's going to work out, eh? <laughs> and what? <the> customer to pay. <laughs> Who came? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, brother. Oh, yeah. Well, Fano, some freshly picked uh, rewire from the garden. I've already put a few in. My cameraman was a bit slack. He's been on the piss outside. Yeah, so. no, I've got better things to do, really. Yeah. He missed the step of me just putting spuds in. Um, but now we've got a couple more to go in. So that's all right. Those bigger ones I'll just cut in half. That one there. All those in. Now it's pretty much ready to go, is it? Uh, I've still got the uh, watercress to go in last and a bit more water. Put our big um, lid on. <laughs> salt, got to go a bit more salt and a bit of a bit more pepper. Nice. And then we're going to have to go up to the creek just up the road. And we'll get our watercress for the last hour. And it um, should be good. Yeah, no, you're right. Does anyone need a towel? Ice, just one, yeah. A yeah. Bag, yeah. bag of ice will do, yeah. 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 Are you having a good day? Yeah. What have you been doing? Cooking. Cooking? Cleaning. Ah, oh, yes. You're making and lolly cake? Yeah. Oh, yes. You're going to have a party? We're going to have a Fano Matariki day. Yeah. Oh, cool. Just here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. All right, we'll go see this fella. Hey, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here I are. Uh, made my way down northward. Just in time, job's done. Um, <laughs> Timbers up, uh, iron's on, yeah. even got a bit of clear lock. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll have somewhere to smoke outside with a bit of cover now. Instead of bloody smoking inside in Joe's house. <laughs> good on you, mate, good to see you, brother. You too, brother. Yeah, good on you, mate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this drone, shit, the drone's coming in for landing. Oh, it'll land on the roof. Then. Where is it? You, got, you can't see the drone. It's enough. It's enough. Oh, he's gonna go right up. We got LA, Mr. Big Boy. Hello, <laughs> Mila. Of course, he's up here, eh? Yeah, he's up jumping off. Hi. <laughs> Hey, look at this, Charlie. We've got a couple bags of ice for our piss. Barker's thinking, fuck, we're in Northern, and what is it, bro? <laughs> fucking about 15 degrees. <laughs> fucking freezing. <laughs> I need my four dunas and fucking two duvets and fucking four pillows. <laughs> Brand new. Fuck your car. The boys. We're dripping all the fucking hot styrene up there. Pull a story. <laughs> we need pull a story down here, mate. Keep the fucking uh, the things snow or... off the roof. <laughs> <laughs>
No, you treat her all day. Come here. Come here. Hi. Yeah, we'll go this way. Right guys, yeah, we just put our uh, watercress in. Big, yeah, we forgot to film that when we went down to the creek to pick it. A couple of sausages for some extra meats. Pies. And I got some more of it. Hunted these out of New World. Would have been a big hunt. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> All of, like, about five minutes to fucking gather these. Yeah. How much did that cost? Eight dollars thirty nine for eight of those dollar sausages. Lit back on the pot, yeah. ready to go. Yeah, safe as grounds here we go. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> 